while the April 8th eclipse will be visible in every state, many people won't notice it unless they're looking for it through special glasses. Jamie Tucker has tips for taking eclipse photos with your smartphone. Smartphone cameras are a lot better now than the last time a total solar eclipse was visible in the United States. Better exposure, better lenses, better zoom. But you can improve your chances of getting a great shot without damaging your phone. The first thing you should do if you're shooting the eclipse is put the phone in airplane mode so a call doesn't interrupt your shooting. You'll need a solar filter. You can find them on Amazon or Walmart for under 10 bucks. And if you're in the path of totality, you can remove the filter, but put it back on to cover up the lens before the sun peeks back out. Be careful with these because they can slip. And if they do and your lens is exposed to the sun's rays, you could permanently damage the sensors inside. Now put the phone on a tripod. Some tripods like this one come with an iPhone holder and a shutter button so you won't have to bump the camera to record once you have it set. And once you have the sun in the frame, tap the screen to focus as much as you can. And then during the eclipse, lock the focus and exposure again as the light changes. Change the settings to shoot the eclipse in raw format if you have that option. Pro photographer Rick well, Murray says the morning of the eclipse, the you should also update your like phone. The because the last thing you want to do is moments before totality to have something pop up. You must update your app and you've missed it. Another idea is not to shoot the sun at all. Rather take photos and videos of how things on Earth look. Seven years ago, I was at a pool party in the path of totality. Rather than shooting the sun, I set up a camera to record people and their reaction and then sped up the footage until the end. But remember, there are professional photographers that will be sharing their images shot by equipment much better than your smartphone camera. So you may just want to sit back and enjoy it, but just don't forget your glasses. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.